I apologize for being a minute late from starting. So we'll, this is the second Tuesday night, and it's time to get the Delta Amateur Radio Club's membership meeting kicked off. Um, so with that, I'll just do a quick uh, couple pieces of business. We'll call this meeting to order, and if I could ask Perry, our secretary, if you call a roll real quick, please. Joe Plump, President. Here. Tyler Henley, Vice President. He is absent on active leave for the military. I'd ask that he be excused, but marked absent. Jim Martin, uh, Treasurer. Secretary Terry Hayes, present. Director of Programs, John Reiners. Here. Director of Training, Joe Lowenthal. He's watching our door for us. He's here. Director of Publications, Mike Harrison. Director of Meetings and Special Events, Scott Evans. Here. Here. Repeater Trustee, Dan Fleet. Here. Public Information Officer, Adam White. I saw Adam. Here. Here he is. <laughs> we do have a quorum, Mr. President. Thank you, Terry. Appreciate that. A uh, quick couple of opening things that I'd like to do. Is I'd appreciate everybody. Um, two things. We have filled a couple of our open slots. Uh, you heard Tyler Henley mention. KQ4 QEV is filling our vice president position. And you heard uh, Adam White, K4 SPV, is filling our PIO. Give those guys a hand for stepping up. <laughs> now, for a real quick activity, um, I'll ask everybody, does everybody know what this little ticket is? Nope. All right. So the first person that can tell me what this is wins it. Absolutely. So here's the deal with our tickets. As a member, you get a ticket every meeting that you attend to put your name on and your call, and you drop it in the barrel or the bucket or the glass jar, plastic jar, and in the December meeting, we draw tickets for door prizes. So you get an extra ticket for knowing what to do with it. So those of you that haven't filled out your ticket during the break, head over where? Over to that table and fill out your ticket so that you can get your door prizes in December. So that makes the December potluck meeting a really popular meeting because everybody gets their tickets. Yes, Jim? Actually, I think we do it in, in November. It's yeah. November to okay. have elections. So we get people to come for elections. Well, I apologize. I was wrong. That's okay. It's November. Thank you for that correction, Jim. November, the November meeting is when we draw the prizes. All right. I want people not to show up in November. Excellent point. I appreciate that correction. And so the door prizes are drawn in November. A couple of other activities for our welcoming people. I'd like to take a moment and congratulate um, all of the um, people that tested tonight. If I could ask them, if they're still present, to just do a quick, if you'd stand up and let us recognize you. We had three technicians and one extra. Absolutely, guys. Thank you so much. You. To brag on the extra a little bit, got the perfect score. Yeah. Knocked it out of the park. Congratulations, guys. Uh, look forward to seeing y'all. All right. Let's move into a little bit of business real quick. Um, we've got to read and approve our minutes. Um, for make a motion we accept the minutes and treasure the Lord's Amen. <laughs> All right, so we have a motion made by him to, uh, the motion is to approve the minutes and treasurer's reports as published in Sparks, and that was seconded by Don. So, it, all in favor, please say aye. Aye. Any opposed? No opposition. So, the uh, treasurer's report and the meetings of uh, minutes as published in Sparks are approved. We'll take a couple of minutes right now and head into just real quick, uh, give each of our board members an opportunity to give you a short report on their area of um, responsibilities as we uh, circle around and then we'll get into the, uh, to the program activity for this evening. So I'll start off real quick and just open it up. I had a blast at field day. Tonight is about field day and the fun that we had at field day and just the, the activity that you can have 
and uh, the camaraderie, the social aspects of it, the contacts, and just hanging out, having fun at the field day was a blast. Um, so I hope that you enjoy some of the things that we're going to talk about at the field day. It's nothing super formal tonight because we just want to have a little bit of fun and have a fun conversation about it. So that's my report. I look forward to um, a shameless plug for me. Everybody on your signal report, there's an extra question this time. Would you be interested in participating in field day next year and winter field day? So if you fill that signal report out and answer that one, that would be sweet. All right, we'll move right around to our next um, uh, board member that's present. Uh, Perry, do you have anything that you'd like to report? I do not, Mr. President. Thank you, sir. Jim, do you have a couple of things that you'd like to report on? Uh, sure. Uh, so far tonight, we've had three new members um, returning applications and one renewal. So it's, it's, always, nice. it's always nice to have, uh, have new members. And I would also like to um, to thank our host, Randy, for, for allowing us to meet here um, monthly, especially uh, you know, providing us with a place for testing and a place for AM 101. <laughs> and with that, I'd like to, we move the board, the club would like to present uh, Randy with a or the Baptist Theological Seminary with a uh, check for $200 Thank as, a, as a donation. I promise we'll use this with great stewardship. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you. We appreciate the host of the facilities that you all have. Thank you, Jim. All right, we'll move we along now to um, John, do you have anything you'd like to report? Um, basically, uh, okay, I thought my voice was loud. Uh, okay, we both. <laughs> no problem. Uh, basically, as director of programs, I'm running out of ideas. So, uh, if anybody has anything they would like to see presentations on, uh, send me an email at programs at deltaclub.org, and I will do my best to see if we can find an expert on that subject matter that's willing to present it. So, yeah. Also put it in the signal report. That's right. Also at the end of the signal report, just type it in if you've got an idea of something you would like to learn more about or see presented. Thank you, John. All right, we'll head on over to Scott. Scott, do you have anything as, uh, that you'd like to say or present? Well, all right, thank you much. I do want to at least offer. Uh, Mike is absent with his uh, family issue uh, concerns. Joe is watching the door. He just walked in. Joe, you want to give us a quick report on some upcoming activities? Thank you. Um, well, the, the, as, as you can see or heard, the class got started, the tech class got started last night. And two gentlemen took their test tonight and passed, so that's a, a grand start for. Uh, for the class, and I just talked to them on the way out that they're they're gonna they they were gonna skip it and, and just come to the equipment demonstration. And I said you might want to come to the class because they went over some things that we did in the class last night that helped them pass it tonight. And I said there are other things that are in the class that will help you on general. So. Uh, that's good, and I have a feeling maybe one or two others might uh, study ahead and, and get their tech and then maybe take their uh, general as well. So uh, tech class 3-24 is going. We had a nine last night. Uh, one person told me they would not uh, be there, and one person did not show up. I didn't uh, get a chance to call them today to see if they're going to be in class or not. But, uh, so that's a good thing going for the class. Uh, the next item is uh, a Huntsville bus trip. Uh, we don't have many people signed up. We need to get people signed up and also to get paid unless you want to pay $120 instead of $99 for the, for the trip. And uh, also, uh, one of the gentlemen that was that passed tonight, he was at, uh, I did the presentation at the Cuyahoga Library on the 15th. <coughs> of uh, June and uh, he was there and 
I had several others that were interested, but uh, they just uh, didn't sign up for the class. But uh, um, the Collierville uh, lady that coordinated asked me if I'd do another one in the uh, in the fall. I said to be more than happy to. But I set up uh, a Kenwood uh, D700, one of the uh, suitcase radios, and then. Uh, uh, an FT-891 with a uh, vertical antenna and made a contact with uh, actually uh, Maritime Mobile, 14300 Maritime Mobile net, uh, net control. Uh, he was doing other check-ins that night, uh, that day. So uh, we were able to, and he was up in uh, Minnesota, I believe. Uh, so it, was, it showed him a good little distance uh, that we were able to get out. And uh, who, who is wanting to go to Huntsville that hasn't uh, said that they're going to go? Okay. We need to get, if you haven't sent an email to me at wa4obo at gmail.com, send it with the subject line Huntsville bus trip so we can have you down and try to make sure that uh, we uh, have a bus going to Huntsville. All right. Thank you, Joe. Appreciate that. Uh, I do want to take just a quick second and expound on the bus trip. Uh, I'm looking forward to going on my first trip this year, so for me, it's going to be the first time. Uh, it's it's going to just ease a lot of uh, concern if people will just get that registration done and early, so that we're not worried that we're not going to make the bus trip. If you're thinking about going and want to go, please let Joe know so that we can go ahead and get to that mark of where we know we're going to make the bus trip and not have to worry about having to say, okay, we didn't get enough people to go. So if you're thinking about going, want to go, please let Joe know so we can kind of get that pearl clear. All right, I'm going to move over to Dan. Dan, you got anything for us? You have your trusty trustee. Uh, it's official now. I've got all the paperwork filed with the FCC. Last year. Uh, the A2 Crackle Monster has kind of stayed hidden for the last month. Um, I hate intermittent problems, but they are what they are. Um, so I hope, hopefully it stays that way uh, for a good long time. But A2 is working pretty good. Talked to people on it. Uh, guy got into it from uh, Fort Pelo a couple of times last week with uh, HT and a telescoping antenna on a high spot, so it's, it's receiving pretty good. Uh, but I tell you, through all of the uh, issues that we've, I've ever heard, there's one individual that just always comes in full quieting and clear. That's Don. And, and <laughs> Golf Juliet number two, no matter what. So if the repeater melts down, we're driving over to Don's house to check in. <laughs> Uh, so, let's see what else I, yep, we got some work to do, uh, Methodist North, and uh, I've been generating some splat maps and may go over that in a future meeting to model our coverage a little bit to see does our model and what our actual does it does it meet pretty close and it it, it is um, so. Those are all good things. And then every now and then a little problem pops up. Uh, thanks to Barry, who always answers my phone and doesn't duck me. <laughs> we, he, he drove out to uh, the uh, Brunswick site yesterday with me, and uh, we had to reset the air conditioner for the common area because it was about 80 degrees in there over the weekend. So. We, we get involved in little things like that too. Do you have any work that you need or any assistance on that you might need some assistance with in the uh, next few weeks? Yeah, uh, I think Adam's here. I may talk to you. If anybody wants to go and I need a little bit of help, probably the next few days, maybe like a Saturday morning this Saturday, I want to take the antenna down so I can top of Methodist North to see what kind of connector it has on it. I'm 
pretty sure that it has a UHF connector on it, but I'd like to take it down. When we take that down, uh, we can take down the 220 antenna also and see what's wrong with it because it has an ISWR on it. So it's uh, for those of you scared of heights, uh, Methodist North is pretty easy. It's, uh, you don't roll too far if you fall off the edge of the roof. <laughs> and you're at the hospital. Yeah, 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 yeah you're right there. Uh, now, yeah, when you come out onto the, there's like a, you go up to the fifth story, and you come out a little door, and then there's a 15 foot metal ladder on top of the very tippy top of the hospital. And on the inside of the, uh, I have to show you some pictures of it in the future. Uh, just bolted to the uh, side of the lip of the roof is a 10 foot mast with our antenna on it. So it's pretty easy. Just go up there with a ratchet, loosen the bolts, and we tilt it over and work on it. So anybody would like to do a little bit of work on there and just see what we have out there. Uh, try it for a side. Let me know. Um, I'll talk to Adam here in a little bit too. Thank you, Dan. Appreciate that. All right. We'll hand the mic off to Adam if he would like to make any report. Our new PIO? Uh, I've only had the position seven days, so nothing to report. But if you have any uh, pictures or videos from field day or anything else we've done, feel free to give them to me or send them to PIO at deltaclub.org, and uh, I'll try to expand our presence into reels and YouTube shorts and stuff like that. So. Thank you, Adam. Appreciate you joining us. All right. Um, we have no thing on the bylaws committee to report at this time. If anybody's interested in assisting Mary Jean Hall with the bylaws, uh, let her or myself know. We'll get you connected with the bylaws committee. Uh, or Peter committee, Dan, is obviously working that and uh, going through that. Is there any old business that we need to put back up off the table and work on tonight? I don't, I don't have any notes for any old business. All right, hearing none, let's jump into our presentation. And after the first presentation, we'll take a quick break after that.